Joining us now is Ed Hyman, Evercore ISI chairman. Ed, so great to have you on the show. Thanks for being here. Okay, thank you. It's a pleasure to be on your show. So, and John, you too. Uh, Thanks. So I do, I do want to start, you know, we've, we've seen the market rally, uh, and it rallied pretty, pretty strongly today, and it's sort of this laying to rest, this idea of recession talk. Uh, and I just wonder if you think the bulls and the optimists are doing a victory lap here too soon, when we know that all of those rate increases that we saw ahead of yesterday have yet to fully be impacted uh, or felt in the economy. Yeah. Well, I, I think it's not too soon necessarily. Let me explain, though. Uh, it takes a long time for monetary policy to work, like one in two years, which is virtually unbelievable. Uh, but the Fed paused in the summer of 2006. Let me take you through the time period. The recession started in 2008, 18 months later. Uh, so what I'm seeing uh, might take another 10 months to impact the economy. We've already had an inverted yield curve for about eight months. So it might take another 10 months uh, to get enough time for it to impact. And uh, the S&P rallied 20 percent during that during 16 months of the 18 and the economy in the fourth quarter of 2007, uh, just before the just before it was about to go into the Great Recession, uh, GDP growth was two and a half percent and employment was pretty good. Uh, and so the, the market's basically doing a repeat of that. Uh, but it does. Uh, assume that the Fed is going to pause, uh, and if they do two more rate hikes, then that's probably too much. But if they can uh, pause now and not do the July hike, uh, that would probably uh, fit. Uh, if they do a July hike, that, that's a little bit uh, more touchy. Okay. Uh, but I, I, I see it working out uh, with, the, with the long lags involved. But I do think, I was listening to your program uh, just now, uh, I don't think the economy is going to reaccelerate for a long time because of, of the lags involved. It's like, I don't see a pickup in, say, the first half of 2024. Okay. So, so when, I hear you, when I hear you liken uh, what we're seeing right now play out in the markets and the economy to 2007, 2008, it, it raises the question, do you think a soft landing is actually possible? No. <laughs> the, now, you know, I've, a lot of times I've said no, and it turned out to be yes. But uh, <laughs> uh, the... In, in this case, uh, the, the yield curve is one of my uh, inputs to your question, it's significantly inverted. And the money supply is contracting for the first time, or the, the most it's done since the 1930s, which that gets my attention. Uh, and then lastly, uh, in addition to the aggressive rate increases, uh, they have QT going on, which I don't have any history to study, but right. that's another a third leg on the tightening side. So, Ed, the consumer is notoriously stretched right now. You know, lots of credit. Uh, so credit-wise, then we got student loan repayment that's coming up in the fall. It, you know, it, they're pay, the consumer's paying a lot in rent or, you know, a lot in mortgage as a percentage of their total income. So is this economy really hinged on a continued strength in employment? And if that weakens, is there the potential for some other dominoes to fall. Absolutely. So I think you hit the nail right on the head. Uh, the consumer, I, I think, John, is in, in pretty good shape, uh, not really stretched too much. Uh, they've had a good situation with their house price, and now stocks are up. Uh, that leaves the lower income people a uh, less advantaged position. Uh, but I, I think uh, that employment is the key. And employment's been good. Uh, maybe getting a little bit weaker today. You saw unemployment claims move up. Uh, so what's the risk? Gonna, so is it is it the, the pullback? The is it a pullback in that revenge travel, perhaps, because services have been so strong relative uh, to to product? Uh, where's the risk in employment most that you see? Uh, it's over the entire spectrum. It's not just services. Manufacturing is already probably in recession, uh, but I'm not sure exactly what sector of employment is going to pull back. Uh, but I do think that is the linchpin. And in order to get a weaker economy, uh, you have to get weaker employment. But I think that's going to come. And as I mentioned, unemployment claims, which is the best timely measure of labor markets, uh, they've moved up already a fair amount, to about uh, 260,000 up from maybe 180. Okay. And 
380,000 is the recession level. So you're moving in that direction, but not there yet. 